Yeah. This match starts at 103. Bill Hagany of Lenape Valley with the reversal. He won, and Lenape Valley goes out to a 3 0 lead over Paulsboro. 112, <laughs> Paulsboro's Mike Zold gets the first period fall on Phil Sylvester. It's now 6 right 3, Paulsboro. 119, Demir Rappa, Paulsboro. Another fall for his team over Justin Zinn. 12 3, Paulsboro. Paulsboro rolling now. Joe Duca pins Mike Doyle. It's now 18 3, Paulsboro. 130, so Paulsboro, Paulsboro, Sean Paulsboro, Diema uh, with the back points over Chris Benvenuto. He won 6 to 2, 21 to 3, Paulsboro. 135, Paulsboro, Anthony Danson. Back points, he won a major over Andrew LaBelle. 25 to 3, Paulsboro. 140, Lenape Valley's Kyle DeLamo looking Kyle to rally Delamo. his team with a pin <laughs> over Eric McMullen, but they trail 25 to 9. <laughs> The Lenape Valley rally would end quickly as Paulsboro's Matt Cosgrove gets a takedown on Mark Mushad. He won 7-2. 152, Paulsboro's Brandon Samuel pins Chuck Ross. 31-9, Paulsboro. 160, the Patriots get a win. Dylan Robleski with a takedown. He beat Bruce Martell, and they trail 31-12. 171, Jim Gentile of Paulsboro with a takedown. He beat Mike LaBelle. It's now 35-12, Paulsboro. 189, Paulsboro's Jamar Bussey with a fall in the second period. They're rolling now. Paulsboro forfeits the final two weight classes. They beat Lenape Valley in the Group 1 semifinals. 41 to 24, your final. It's a great experience for the team. We uh, put in a lot of hard work and dedication just to make it this far. Uh, two days ago, we just won our uh, group title. And we came down here, little, came up a little short, but we're proud of our efforts. It was a good experience for the kids. Um, winning the sectionals was obviously exciting, something we hadn't done in 10 years. Today didn't work out the way we had planned, but that's part of sports, you know. No reason uh, for our guys to um, drop their head, so to speak, but uh, it's, we're going to transition now and, and go to the individual part of the season, and that's what we're looking forward to. Despite losing in the state semifinals, this Lenape Valley team has a lot to be proud of. We started off the season four and four, and then after that, we just went on a winning streak. And um, that produced uh, state rankings and turned out good for our team. It was good, a lot of fun. Uh, we didn't have our normal lineup, full lineup, so it was a little disappointing, but came down, tried doing what we had to do, and had fun. It was good. We, we had a great class of senior leaders. Um, and, you know, maybe one of the best lessons we learned this year was that adversity uh, doesn't always mean the end. We were able to overcome injuries along the way, illnesses, some unforeseen things that we managed to overcome right up here until the last match. And, uh, you know, we lost to a, a team that had better balance than us. There's no shame in that. And uh, I, I think as far as our kids reaching our potential, they did that at the team level. Now we would like to do that on the individual level. Now that the team tournament is over, it's time to focus on the districts. I'm looking forward to districts, regions, and the states. Um, a lot of hard work this week in practice. Got to push myself to the max, and uh, I'll do my best. Just go as far as I can. Win districts, get in finals, regions, win regions, as far as I can in states. I talk to these guys all the time about the team aspect of it, and like I said, now we transition to the individual part of it, and um, on an individual basis, we talk to guys about what their aspirations are, what their individual goals are. So that's what this week of uh, practice coming up will be all about. Rich Salmon is looking forward to a possible rematch against Newton heavyweight Ed Matice. I'm excited to meet Ed again. Uh, every time we meet, it's always close. He just ends up getting over a little edge, but it's going to be a close match. I'm looking forward to it.